Today, my guests are two sisters who have become social entrepreneurs. The way that we see social enterprise is um, that it is not a pure NGO, it is not a pure business. Mm. It has some intermediate role and um, in our case, I think it's very important that the mission is not about profit. The method is, pro is to make a profit, but the mission is to do something that's good environmentally or socially. Well, in our case, we work with farmers, um, rural farmers, particularly in Yunnan province, mm. that create high quality, very good organic goods, and we help create a market for them. Mm. So it's a, more of a sustainable market, rather than just doing a project or helping with some sort of charity, we want to support it through means of a business as well. with a career, then I just fell in love with China. Mm -hmm. Our origin and our inspiration comes from Shangri-La, the place. Mm -hmm. So it's like the birthplace of Shangri-La Farms. I did the design for the coffee, mm -hmm. and um, my sister did the beauty products mm -hmm. design, mm -hmm. and then you know we work together as well. And people are very, very concerned with pricing. Pricing is number one. It needs to be cheap. And, uh, you know, but at the same time, when you talk to them and you start explaining the values of fair trade and the values of social responsibility, you know, generally speaking, they're quite all right with adding a few more renminbi onto the final price of the, of the products. Um, but the point is that they need to know about it. So how do you, as like a small group, communicate this, this rather big message with a very large population? And that was China's number one dating show, Fei Chong <laughs> Wurong. Um, so I entered as a, as a contestant. I'm尤其是孔孟之道,我是很重视教育的人,我也希望在中国帮助更多孩子受到更好的教育,所以我会拿出一部分收入尊赞我们在云南支持的基金会,帮助当地的生态发展。Shangri-La. To me, that means snow mountains and a rainbow. We do donate a portion of our profits because we really like to give back to Shangri-La mm. to help the locals in Shangri-La. I like creating the look and the feel of the products um, and expanding our product range. That is the idea to introduce high-end Chinese goods mm -hmm. to overseas. Mm -hmm. Right, so this is a way for them to, it, it almost becomes sustainable for them, you know, it's, and yeah. they can feel proud about how it grows, maybe, the business itself grows. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. it's more sustainable, it's mm. more long-term, yeah. um, so, yeah, it's a partnership that we want to create that will last okay. for a while. Exactly, right? it's not us giving them resources, um, they are our partners in this, you know, it, it has a great sense of self-worth and being able to provide for oneself. Right. in the countryside, in beautiful communities with rich traditions um, that Shangri-La Farms want to support. And we want to find a way to bring some of this beautiful nature 
back to cities and places around China and around the world so they can have a piece of this.